Citronitas represents a house, a house being widely accepted as a symbol of protection, using lace, which offers no protection whatsoever, namely because it's comprised mostly of empty space. So there's a contradiction in this piece between the subject matter and the material. A great deal of labor has gone into creating an object that's a bit absurd in that it does not fulfill the function that a house is intended to fulfill. This is very much about the labor and the worry that so many of us expend in trying to keep ourselves safe. And I think this applies to our daily lives now more so than ever in the political climate in which we're living. Seems the harder we work to keep ourselves well, the scarier things get, at least in the artist's personal opinion. Um, the material itself, I think, speaks to the times we're living in. Um, I think there is a false promise of wealth that comes from hard work. Uh, and the gold color is very much a symbol of wealth and well-being. The piece sparkles as if it were made of gold, and it's not. It's collapsible. Um, you blow it away by breathing on it. I don't suggest that you do that right now. The title refers to a phase in um, alchemy. So there's an idea in alchemy. Um, it could be seen as metaphorical, and there are people in history who actually took this literally, um, that through the application of heat and other processes, you could transform matter. Um, so there's a phase, there's a black phase there's a red phase, there's a gold phase, there's a white phase, and Citronitas refers to the gold phase. Um, I personally look at the study of alchemy now as rather allegorical. Again, um, the idea that we could transform a material simply by applying heat and prayer and faith um, is a beautiful promise, at times an empty one. Um, and that is where the title of the piece has come from. Also notable is the fact that the, I mean, the entire piece is full of holes, but the only part of it that approaches opacity is the window. And again, that's a little absurd, absurdist detail um, that's there in the piece. Um, the strings that you see hanging from the piece are attached to the bobbins that were used to make the piece. Um, the bobbins you're gonna see on the floor to the, to the right side of the pedestal on which the piece is standing. So they make, the bobbins make the labor that went into the piece evident. Um, I think the bobbins lend the piece an unfinished quality. This house is a work in progress. Um, how one would know when it's finished is also rather absurdist because even when it's finished, it's not going to offer any protection. Um, and one last point to note is that this piece is intentionally a bit loose and approaching messy, which I find to be a bit uncommon in lace work. Um, I kind of wanted, you know, the blood and sweat that goes into making the piece to be a bit evident. And it's intentional that the piece looks a bit haphazard and a bit um, almost tired in a way. Uh, and that again is the reference as uh, a reference to the labor that I see going into a secure life that doesn't always pan out. Um, lace can be messy, messy can be beautiful. Uh, I hope you enjoy the piece. Thanks. <laughs>